Have you ever felt like something was missing from your PC build? You've crafted something that you're pretty happy with, a good looking gaming PC, but there's something that's nagging at you that you really want to deal with, but you're not sure how. I'm talking, of course, about RAM. Now, DDR5 RAM, for the most part, is usually better if you put two sticks of RAM in your system into slot A2 and B2. This should ensure that you're getting good system stability and the right speeds out of the RAM, there have been issues with trying to fill all the slots. And this, of course, leads to the problem where you've got a gap. You've got two empty slots and this horrid gap in your system. Now, if you're not using RGB RAM, this video is not for you. But if you do use Corsair's RGB RAM or want to put four sticks of RAM into your system or what looks like it, then you can now. And this isn't a new thing. Corsair has been doing it for a while. But now with the Vengeance and Dominator RAM, you can get a lighting kit. So what you're seeing here isn't four sticks of RAM. It's actually two sticks of RAM and two modules of Corsair's lighting enhancement kit. So these are dummy RAM sticks, essentially, which just fill the spare gaps in your motherboard and give you the RGB and the satisfying feeling of not looking like you've got a horrid gap there. Also, maybe you can pretend that you've got additional RAM or think that RGB is going to give you a boost in system speed. Set the lighting to blue and obviously it will cool your system a few degrees and you'll get more FPS. Uh, disclaimer, that isn't really true, but it's a fun thing that you can do. It doesn't cost a whole lot more money and obviously saves you the headaches of trying to worry about whether four sticks is going to work or not. The enhancement kit, as I said, is available for Dominator and the Vengeance RAM, so whichever you're using, and it's available in black and white. So you can end up with a really good looking system. In the BIOS, the extra dims that have been filled up aren't recognized. So when you turn XMP on, it's not a problem. You can see A1 and B1 here, for example, just marked as NA still. So the BIOS doesn't see it as RAM, unfortunately. You're not getting a boost in performance there. But then you have got a better looking system. Now, you do need to, of course, go into Windows and download IQ if you want to then change the RGB lighting on it away from the standard. And this is pretty straightforward. Obviously, you'll be changing the RGB lighting on all four sticks, and you can choose from a variety of different lighting effects. Watercolor is a nice one, and you've got various other ones. You can set it to a static color if you want to and have a distraction-free build. I personally like to set mine to blue, as I said, just to make it look nice and not something out of the corner of my eye. But if you like a bit more leery effects in there, you can do it and obviously sync it with other things in your system. So if you have other Corsair fans, cooler and other bits in your build, then you can obviously sync the lighting with that as well, getting everything matching up nicely. And as you can see, there are some pretty cool effects in here too. You can also adjust the brightness and the speed of the things. So if you want to just turn the lighting off, for example, you can do that. It's not a problem. So it's a pretty good solution if it's always bothered you that the RAM slots are missing or that there's a gap between them or that you have to put the sticks as standard into the second and fourth slot on your motherboard and you don't know why there's these horrid gaps there. N nice little addition to the build and a nice little finish to it. If you like the RGB lighting, then this can really make it seem even better and frankly it looks great in a number of builds here so you can see this is actually a fantex build there's no corsair fans in it and yet that ram still looks really good and you can control it there easily as well and then i've got a haven build with nzxt fans in it and equally that looks good in there too so whatever you're doing nice system upgrade nice and easy to do and no hassle whatsoever this has been the provoke prawn check out the links in the description to find out more about this and thanks very much for watching You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.